Hi, my name's Janet and I'm a chemistry tutor at ATAR Notes. Today I'm going to be discussing with you the graphs of endothermic and exothermic reactions. The basis of endothermic and exothermic reactions is enthalpy change. Enthalpy, also known as the heat content, is the total amount of energy in a system. A system merely just means the re chemical reaction. Often in year 12, you will see different graphs for endothermic and exothermic reactions known as energy profiles. An endothermic reaction energy profile looks like this. You will have two axes. The top one will represent H or enthalpy, the total energy of the system. The bottom one will generally represent time. Okay. Now, endothermic reactions have a shape like this. This line here is our reactants. And this line here is our products. Now, if H represents enthalpy, you can see that our reactions at the start have a lower enthalpy than the products at the top, meaning that the reactants have less total energy than the products. The difference between these two is called delta H or change of enthalpy. It is often referred to as the heat of reaction. For an endothermic reaction, the change in H or change in enthalpy will be a positive value as the system has absorbed energy from the surroundings. Now the graph of an exothermic reaction is slightly different. Again, we have the same axes, but the shape looks like this. Here you can see that the reactants have a greater enthalpy or greater total energy than the products. And our change in H, or our delta H, or our change in enthalpy is actually negative. So in summary, in an endothermic reaction, the reactants have less energy than the products and the change in H is positive. In an exothermic reaction, the reactants have more energy than the products and the delta H is negative. Thanks for watching today and good luck for the rest of your chemistry studies.